Good morning, everybody. It's 6 a.m. here. We are packed and ready to go. We are just about to head off on our Algonquin trip today. So we're doing a, the Cache Lake Loop. It's about 16 kilometers. I think there's four portages. The biggest one is the first one, 1,600 meters. So it'll be very interesting to see how we do with that. We have got the kids are on their electronics, just kind of ready and waiting to go. Uh, Corey's in the background there. He's getting some breakfast uh, before we go. And we're just going to finish up a few things and then we're going to head out. So uh, come on along with us and we'll take a look and see what the journey's like today. All right, guys. So we're about five minutes away from the Portage store. We're just coming through Barry's Bay. Uh, we have about an hour after uh, that once we pick up our gear. Uh, the, the store's actually closed today, so they've just left our stuff, uh, they said, behind the food truck. Uh, we're getting super excited. Another hour, and uh, yeah, we'll be on the lake. Can't wait. Yeah, That'd can't wait too. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Uh, it's the first time out this year we're doing any kind of portaging. Um, it's supposed to be a beautiful day, 20 degrees. Um, yeah, can't wait for sure. When we got to the Portage store, we couldn't find a food truck in sight. Uh, we drove around in a couple circles, nothing to be found. We happened to uh, walk over to this building, the door was unlocked, so we went ahead in and we grabbed our gear. Yeah, we're going to pick up the canoe uh, on location, they drop okay. it off for us. Why don't you guys uh, table the paperwork? Yeah. Let's just take a look and see. Yeah, make sure the sizes are all okay. Okay, well, so... I they're all the same size, so they're all good. That's fine, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So that, I'm just going to put those you get a, 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 a life jacket on. Life jacket. Taylor, grab a life jacket as well. Get one that fits. Put it There's on. a bunch of other, they probably have a size on it too. Take a look here. That uh, looks a little big for you there, Dev. Yeah, let me try it on. Perfect. All right, I feel like this probably fits okay. Taylor, just grab one, any one and try it on. Doesn't matter which one. You see that? Yeah. Alright, does that look good, Taylor? Everything fits? Yeah, alright. Let's rock. We got the, you guys grabbed an emergency kit each? What are you doing there? Just switching out an emergency kit? Oh, I was just looking if there was a flashlight in here, but there's not. But that's okay. We're going in the day. So. Yeah, that's fine. Do they normally put a flashlight in there? It said there was supposed to be a flashlight on the side. Oh, Did you get two you of them? you want to close that door? Did I you? got one. I thought you got one. Did you get one, Devin? Yeah. Well, I guess it's a good one. Yeah. I got one. No, it's okay. We got one here. Yeah, all just right. make sure all the doors. All right, guys, and we're ready to go. So we will be there in another hour. Once we get there, we'll grab our canoe and uh, off we'll be. All right, we're just coming up to the Algonquin East Gate here. We're like almost there. So we're just going to pull over and uh, get our permit. And then I guess we'll be on our way right into the lake. So um, yeah, it'll just be like five minutes hopefully and then we'll be almost there. We've got about 20 minutes uh, from here until the lake. Uh, and then yeah, we'll be off into our canoe journey for the day. All right, we are now entering the Cache Lake access point. So we're here. Excellent. You guys ready? The, yeah. The drive actually wasn't that bad. Um, so we're going to uh, go down to the lake and check it out. Uh, there's actually a lot of cars here. Um, so we're going to see if we can find our canoes and uh, get all geared up and ready to go out on the lake. Yeah, it's perfect. So let's uh, take the camera with us and we'll show them where the canoes are. Let's go, all boys. Right. Come awesome. on. Electronics down. Okay, it turned out to be a beautiful day also. It was like seven degrees this morning when we first woke up, so I thought it was gonna be a bit chilly, but uh, yeah, it's gorgeous out. I think this might be our canoes down here. Oh, um, yeah, you think so? Just right over here by the little shack? Yep. Let me see one. All right, is there two? There's another canoe over there. Oh, there's a bunch of canoes over there too. Oh, there's two here, yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. It's got our name? There's a name Oh, yeah, perfect. It's even got our name on the canoes. These are definitely ours. All right, so I've shown Devin how to pick up a canoe, and he's going to try it for the first time. All right, go for it, Dev. Okay, we'll keep trying. There you go. Once you get it there, then you just lift it up. 
Put your neck on the other side. Like put your head on the other side where your neck's gonna go. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that's right. Like Lift up. Yeah. You gotta get off the ground. Oof, okay. Okay. There you go, good work. Get your head underneath there. Okay, all right, put it down. All right, my turn. All right, let's let Taylor try. My turn. Let's see if Taylor can do it. Okay, so yeah, put it on its side. Perfect, good work, Taylor. Kind of put your head where it needs to go. Uh, your hands are backwards, I think. Yeah, there you go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, God. Oh, no. 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 All right. All right. So, light down. Here, Taylor, come and take the camera. Better than you. And I'll show you how to do it. Where do you put your hand? Yes. All right, guys. So, it's pretty simple to actually pick up the uh, canoe. Stand it on its side. One hand. Two oh. hands. Oh, what? Lift straight up. Oh, Run really? Your shoulders. Balance the canoe. And away you go. So let's bring this one down to the water. Come on with me. All right, Jen, your turn. Show the boys what you're made of. Oh my God, it's heavier than I remembered. How do you do this? Oh my, oh no. <laughs> I can't remember how to do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. Uh-oh. We might have more troubles out there today than we realized. All right, well, let's just get going. Let's just get going. Scared it. It's a squirrel. Oh, I think it's dead. Is it a I think, yeah, the yeah. bird just tried to kill the squirrel. Yeah, Swooped in. Dead. There it is. It's going in to get it. Oh. The bird is getting its kill. He's trying to find it, I think. Alright, Devin, you lead the way. Alright, 1600 kilometers or 1600 meters. Here we go. Alright guys, so I think we're about halfway through the uh, 1600 meters. We'll keep on going. So we are coming up to the end of the portage, letting, getting into Head Lake. That was 1600 meters. 
Whew, one of the toughest portages I've ever had to do. It's quite a beautiful looking lake. Jen just finished her 1600 meter portage. Oh yeah, it was quite tough. The longest portage I've ever done. I'd say it probably took us about 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. Yeah, not bad overall though. Yeah, not bad overall. Let me show you guys the lake here. Beautiful lake. Yeah. All right, I need some water. Yeah, water. beautiful lake. I think we're heading over in this direction. I gotta take a look at the map and see where we're going. Uh, into the creek, which will then lead to the river. Um, oh, just beautiful, I'm exhausted. Uh, I'm gonna get some water. The boys were a great help on that. Uh, Devin carried the canoe for a little bit of the journey. Uh, so he just needs to get some more muscle tone up and he'll be a fantastic asset to the team. All right, we're here in beautiful Head Lake and we just finished the 1640 portage. I think we did pretty good. It was pretty tough at times, but I think overall we did pretty good. It only took us maybe about half an hour or so. So yeah, not bad. So yeah, we're just uh, paddling across Head Lake. We saw some loons back there. They were kind of playing in the water. We've got our second canoe over there. There's Corey and Taylor. I've got my helper up here, Devin, paddling like a champ. And I can hear some rapids up there actually too. So there's gonna be another portage coming up pretty soon. Um, so we'll uh, switch it up and do that portage and have a little break from paddling at that point. Taylor, when he was pulling me up, he wasn't watching where he was pulling. He was taking over that edge. All right. We are at the second portage. This portage is, this sign says 250 meters from Head Lake to Head Creek. That's where we're going. But on our map that we had, one of Jeff's maps, which are awesome, it actually said 185 meters. So we'll see how long it actually is. Yeah, this one shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it will take us too long, probably 10 minutes. Uh, and then we'll be on to uh, the uh, Head uh, Creek. Way faster than the other one. What do you guys think? Uh, About what? I'm excited About to not be paddling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Yeah. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that long, no. Uh -huh. Looking good. Woohoo! You look much more relaxed than Taylor. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so this is the end of the second portage. As you can see, it looks like we're gonna have to drag the canoe uh, through this little rocks to get into it. So this should be a little bit slippery, uh, a little bit of excitement. Let's see, let's see how well we do here. Here, Taylor, can you grab the end of this canoe? Yep, please. Oh, yeah, it's okay. 